Mm. PlayStation's definitely superior. Gundam Online Expo. You're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. Let's go. Hello friends, fellow Gundam enthusiasts, or just casual YouTube watcher. My name is Skylar, this is Hobby Bolt. Let us talk about something that I am quite excited about and I have found out not a lot of people are aware of it and you guys should be. It is the Gundam Online Expo. It is, I guess, run by the P Bandai website as well as Gundam Info, which you guys should know is pretty much the main source for all the new releases and everything like that. Now, this is a translated website. I will leave the link in the description. If you want to check it out yourself, you can scroll along with me or you can ignore it altogether and just go right now. All I want to do is spread this information because so many people don't know about it. So I would like to first and foremost apologize to your wallet. I can hear mine crying already. Basically, get your wallet ready, prepare your credit card statements for the impact, and also, you know, I'm sorry if you end up in the doghouse by your significant other, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever it is, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but it'll be worth it. Just tell them that it was a pre-order and you pre-ordered it months ago, and there's nothing you can do about it because you're definitely gonna want to check this out. So, basically, let me just, you know what? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go over a couple of the kits that I think are really worth your time. These are going to be Gundam based exclusives that we in America are able to have access to tomorrow night Eastern Central Time, I believe is the translation. Let me see right here. Yeah, so right here, Gundam Online Expo. This is a translated website. So August 21st, they've already translated the time for us, so 9 p.m. So tomorrow at 9 p.m., it's gonna start and run until September 2nd until about three o'clock in the morning, which makes sense because for California, that would be what, midnight California time? So they are letting us have access to these Gundam-based exclusive kits that would otherwise be hard to obtain or take a while to obtain or which is otherwise not be available to us unless you have a plug in Japan. So I'm really excited about this and I want more people to know about it because this is a unique opportunity and this expo, this expo idea, this online expo idea has never happened. This is like the first time and it's, it's kind of a big deal, you know, amidst COVID and everything like that. It's kind of a big deal that we're able to do something this special. But there are a few kits that I really want to go over, namely this bad boy on the main screen here. That is a clear part real grade new Gundam, which they just came out with a real grade new Gundam and they added the funnel packs to it, which really sucks that it came out now. But I actually haven't picked that one up. So I'm excited to get this one because I'm a sucker for clear part Gundam. But basically all you got to do, which is super easy to do, is spend $150 and you will get zero shipping and all of the pre-orders and everything like that will come to you with no cost in shipping which if you've ordered gundams before you know that shipping sometimes especially when it comes from overseas is way more than the kit itself and that in itself is the biggest reason you should check out the expo bandai should be paying me for this because i am the biggest hype woman of the century for this event but basically there are a couple of extra things other than these exclusive kits that are on this website. So again, I will leave the link in the description down below so you can scroll the site yourself because there's just so much stuff to check out, including exclusive panels, like builder, like just everything, everything. And it's worth your time to check out. At the very least, check it out. But as you can see here, it's already started in Japan, but we have to wait until tomorrow night, which is actually not a bad thing because most people get paid on Friday or hopefully you're getting paid. If you're not getting paid, I'm so sorry. I know that COVID has been a beast. It's been a beast to everybody, but check this out. So let's start with these kits, all right? So they split it up kind of like in convention season. They split it up based off of the timeline. So it's the 21st to the second, right? So 
you're going to have these kits, which come out the 21st, and these kits that come out the 23rd, so they're staggering them. So you can be like, oh, here's this paycheck. Oh, this can go on my next paycheck. Pretty brilliant, if you ask me. But basically, all you have to do is, most of you should already have it. I highly suggest getting a P Bandai website, at the very least, to learn what your new releases are so that you're aware of what's coming out, so that you don't double buy or buy something that maybe isn't as good a kit as what you'd expect to get. But again, like I said, all you have to do is spend $150. Now, $150 is a lot of money, but if you bought guns before, $150 is very easy. <laughs> basically, it's could be as simple as one kit or a couple of really awesome HGs. It depends on what you prefer. But really, $150, one of them is a Sazabi that's $200 special coating. I highly suggest it's a Verka. It is probably one of, if not the best, MG1100 Verka kit that is out there, in my opinion. In my opinion. If I'm wrong, please leave it in the, in the comment section below. But check this out. There it is right there. There's a Sazabi. It's a special burr, which, you know, <sighs> I've been in the community long enough to know that some people are just like, oh, you know, it's just a double, which I understand. But you know what? A little hype is fun. So let's go with the hype. I actually literally have my Sazabi right here. And if you have not built this kit yet, I suggest getting this one because it looks to be a little bit richer red, which I think is worth your time. But again, like I, I just, I can't, I can't suggest it enough. It is the coolest. It literally has special parts, metal parts, LED lighting, everything. Matter of fact, I think I have the LED video on my YouTube here if you want to check it out. But anyways, without further ado, let me stop rattling on because I will rattle on for the next hour if someone doesn't stop me. And there's no one here to stop me. So let me go ahead and check out the exclusive kits that are available on the 21st. See, and you know what? This is twice as bad for me because my birthday is the 24th. So I have even more reason to go ahead and buy these. Like, I'm in trouble. Now, I'm not gonna scroll through every single one of these or open every single one of these because I really think part of the fun is you exploring it and checking it out for yourself. One thing that I found really cool, so this stupid little kit here, it's not stupid. I wanted this injection mold kit for I can't even tell you how long. It's $10 and it's the literal machine that makes the injection molds for the actual Gundam kits. This is amazing to me. My dad is an electrical mechanical engineer and when I was a kid, I saw machines like this and I was fascinated by it. it. Might have contributed to why I really like Gundam so much. But literally, I used to see these machines and to see these things in person, one day when my Japan trip hasn't been canceled, I wanna go to the Bandai plant to check out these injection molds because that that's just cool, that's cool to me. I don't know, that's the nerd in me. I think $10 for that is kinda worth it, so I think I kinda have to pick up that one. But anyways, no, check this out. I thought this horror ball, well, first of all, horror balls are amazing. Lock on, lock on, like literally. But this isn't, this isn't a little tiny horror ball kit. No, 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 no. No, I was like $35. It's a utility box that is bigger than an HG. And I just want it right here on my desk uh, for when I Twitch stream, which I am getting that started. I'm getting an update on my computer. So check out my Twitch. It is down in the description below and I can't wait to start streaming my builds, but I just want this horror ball there. So at the very least, I want the injection mold and the horror ball and that new we were talking about earlier. But let me just scroll on really quick so I don't end up having like this super long video. Look, I mean, the real grade quant Trans Am Clear Burr, like, come on, you can't go wrong with the pink, right? This right here, this Fenix, pretty sharp. It's destroy mode, full armor, like, I don't need more unicorn. I don't, I don't. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I have an abundance of unicorn and I don't need any more. I'm probably gonna skip on this, but it is really cool to see because I can always paint mine that way too. But anyways, let's go on. Of course, you got the little petite guy here, which they're really cute kits. Um, I actually have this HG RX-78 on its way to me like soon. So I'm excited for that. But that one I'm gonna skip because I already have that one. Um, <laughs> the real grade, the wing, obviously wing. So all the clear kits I just think are really cool. 
Obviously, you know, you have da, 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 the Afrit here, the Hayaku Siki. Come on. Amazing. They have a bunch of shark kits. This is the only other one aside from the new that I would suggest. If you have not built this for a car, I would definitely suggest getting this one. It's it's just a cool kit. I suggest this one. $200 is a fair price for it, considering it's the Verka. It's the updated. I, I think it would be worth your time if you haven't bought the Sazabi yet. And yeah, so. Oh, okay. Here's the other one aside from the new that is kind of fascinating. So this is all the way through LED on this Norn, which is pretty pretty cool if I do say so myself so they're obviously getting us hyped for that new unicorn that's coming out later this year matter of fact I made a video on that too which is crazy so already we're starting to see the LED full body LEDs come through so that's pretty cool but yes like I said I'll let you guys go through this yourself the only other one like you have the special weapon expansion kits the Barbados here always a good kit very, very impressed with this line. I'm not a massive um, Iron-Blooded Orphans fan. Uh, I do like Orga, but I do like the kits. I like the designs. There's some savage fights. I can't hate on it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but he's a cool build. So I would suggest getting that one too if you haven't. It's clear. It's so cool. And then, of course, this is the one that I want. This is the one that I definitely want that no matter what, at the end of the day, I'm definitely probably going to get this guy. Eh, no, I'm going to get this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on my phone or wherever I am, like wherever I am. I'm like, no, I'm going to get this kit. And if I don't and one of you guys get it, aside from me, I'm going to be very upset, just so you know. So if any of you buy a second one, let me know. <laughs> But yeah, like aside from that, so here's all the kits, like I'll let you go through that. But that's not even everything. You go all the way back to the expo page here and they have the whole entire lineup. There's event guides, stuff like that. They are literally, oh, here's all the different kits that they're featuring as well. Um, I can't find it right here, but they are streaming the majority of the Gundam series like for free. I'm not gonna click on them because I don't want Bandai to copyright I don't, I don't want Ban- See, look, they got me tongue-tied. I don't want Bandai to copyright strike me again. They've struck me on pretty much every single video I've done. So like, if you're from Bandai, like, can you stop, please? I'm a little, I'm a little YouTuber, okay? Please, stop. I love you, I spend a lot of money on you. <laughs> now, the only other thing that I really wanna go through, oh, you know what? There's clothes too. There's G-Strict clothing and there's a specific shirt I want. It literally is Char, but it's in a fan. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and go to it. I'll do it after this. Um, but the G-Strict clothing line will be available as well, which they're always cool. They're a little overpriced. I will say that they're overpriced, especially when there's so many cool graphic tees out there, small people who are making cool graphic tees and stuff. But the Strict G Char fan shirt uh, I kind of I kind of really want that one but here's the only other thing I'm gonna go over and then I will let you guys go so you can explore this is the digital Gundam base which I just think is so freaking cool as you can see here it literally shows you the dollhouse of the actual Gundam base there in Japan and you can walk through the entire Gundam base as if you're there and then of course they have the special like you know here's the the MGEX, the unicorn, of course they're hyping that one up. The premium Bandai area, literally, you can walk right through. You can walk through it as if you're actually there. Now, the part that I'm kind of disappointed by is there's all these really cool displays, but you can't read any of it. Like if you know anything about the majority of like the competitions that happen. So this whole entire wall over here is all the lines, like the MG lines, everything is that's come out. They show 1980s, the whole history of Gunpla and everything like that. I'm just so disappointed that I can't actually like read these things because I would spend all day on that. But yeah, you can walk through, you can see the start of the store over here and everything like that. And you just keep walking and it's really cool. You see Benajer over here. I think that's so cool. Like all these displays, and I could probably spend all day here, but I'm going to stop myself from doing that so I don't bore you with me just fangirling all this stuff. But 
look at this. Gunpla World ver MG, all the MGs. Like, are you kidding me? That's that's so cool. Amuro right there. I want that cutout. A full size model, like it it's so cool. Like you just walk through. If you notice too, they have the actual social distancing protocol for if you're actually in there. All the cool cutouts. I went too far, but I don't know. I just think this is so cool that you can go through here and check all this out as if you're actually there because again, I had a trip planned this year for my birthday and it got canceled and I don't think I've been more sad like in my life than than to not have that trip because it's a dream trip for sure. Ah, oh, I'm like getting teary eyed right now. Are you kidding me? It's so stupid. But that's why this is so cool that I literally can check this out and walk through here as if I actually went. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I am going to let me see if I can find the shirt. Oh, here's like the event guide. They have things they haven't quite released yet. As you can see, it says coming soon. So they're keeping the hype train alive. Al they're keeping the hype train alive. If you go to Twitter, they actually are quite active on there. They have a bunch of featured builders and stuff like that, creators and everything, voice actors, a whole panel. It's like a convention, but online. They have painting techniques, everything like that, everything you'd ever want. But I just, that's so cool. I just think it's so cool. I can't find the clothes. Hold on a second. I swear there's clothes. Of course I can't find it now that I want to show everybody. <sighs> Wait, hang on. Oh, here's what I was talking about. They're streaming like Char's counterattack, one of my all time favorites. Like this, this fight, like I, it's in my intro, in my intro. But yeah, like it's so cool. They have those. Uh, of course they have Unicorn. <laughs> of course they're gonna be playing Unicorn. Um, announcements, everything like that. Oh, I can't find the clothes, but you'll just have to Go through the site. If you find the clothes, let me know where it is because for some reason I can't find it. Probably on the P Bandai website. But yes, that is it today. I am going to stop rambling your ears off. I think this is awesome. If you have any other questions about it, whatever I know, I will be more than happy to let you guys know. But yeah, again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. This was a super fun video to do because it just felt like I was just showing off something really awesome that I'm excited about to like all my friends. So again, thank you guys for watching. I know it's my second video this week. I'm getting better, not better. This is kind of a really casual video. It's not as nice as my other one, but stay tuned. I'll get better, more cool content. Thank you guys again. Bye guys. See you in the next one.